I am unboxing the GeForce GTX 1660 Super. It's an NVIDIA card. I got this particular one from Best Buy. It's a XLR8 PNY, I believe. It has 6 gigabytes GDDR6 memory, 12 nanometers, the latest Turing architecture, newer advanced shading, and uh, the main reason I got it here is the dedicated hardware encoders for simultaneously gaming and streaming or recording. 1,408 cores, 88 TMUs, which is a texture mapping unit, and it has 48 ROPS, which is render output units. I chose the NVIDIA card over AMD because if you plan on doing any kind of streaming while you are doing gaming, uh, you need those those extra hard hardware encoders really help. I was looking at some charts on this card and it's about 40% faster than GTX 780, 25% faster than a GTX 780 Ti, 10% faster than a GTX 980, 20% faster than a GTX 1060, 10% faster than a GTX 1660, 5% slower than the 1660 Ti, 20% slower than a 2060, about 20% slower than a GTX 1080. This is uh, in-game, what we're talking about, average frame rates in games. This graphic card is mostly for 1080p gaming. Um, you should be able to do ultra settings at 30 frames per sec, above 30 frames per second. Older games, you can do 60 frames per second on ultra settings. Newer games, you'll probably be in the 50s or 40s. If your graphics card is a GTX 780 or above, I personally don't believe it's worth it to upgrade. I would wait for something better to come along. I was actually going to get the GTX 1660, the non-super version, but uh, there was a mix-up in my order, and Best Buy accidentally sent me the GTX 1660 Super. I just didn't think the 1660 Super was worth it for the upgrade price. Same with the 1660 Ti. I think you could do all the gaming that you need to do with the 1660 because with the 1660 you can overclock that yourself and have at least a you can give yourself a 10% performance boost on that. Uh, these cards here, they're already overclocked, you know, so you're not going to get as much of a boost by overclocking yourself than with the previous cards. It's more beneficial to just go with a slightly cheaper card. The leap in performance at above the GTX 1660 I don't believe is worth the premium in price. You're paying at least double, you need to pay at least double the price for it to be worth it if you want those extra high frame rates. I hope I answered any questions about this video card. Looking at the card, I like the, I am a fan of the dual fan design. Looks like we have three monitors. This looks like a DVI. This is a HDMI and a DP there. This is the box here. We're looking for the, there's the power connector there. So there it is. GTX 1660 Super.